hello guys how are you doing today so today i have like a, a mercedes 2015 ml class ml um 350 so you pretty much got a warning light for the um auxiliary battery malfunction so what we have to do we're gonna have to replace uh, the auxiliary battery so to the auxiliary battery is located on the a right rear um chunk side so the main battery is under the passenger uh, seat uh right front and the auxiliary battery is under the right rear so we're gonna try to do the location real quick and what you need to replace it so what you're gonna have to do is pretty much you have to remove uh the parcel like i know with the cover uh, you remove it and this is where you got on file like uh, this spare tire and uh, what you have to do you have to this trim right here you got like a t30 right here location right here what you're gonna have to do you replace like I uh, remove the t30 once you remove the t30 just like a clip on go we'll see just like a clip on you pop it off you just like a pull up on them and you, you pop it off and you're gonna find also the two uh t um 30 also over here on the stream you have to pull the trim there's two clip one is here and the other one is over there so you have to remove those clip so that uh, you could pull this back right here like that and the auxiliary battery is located right here that's where the auxiliary battery is hold on yeah that's the battery so you're gonna have to pull on this uh right rear parcel and you get it loose when you get it loose it's only clip on because you have like a t40 you have to remove down the t40 and you have it to remove the other t30 so once you do it and then you will have access to the auxiliary battery right here this is the battery on the right rear corner of the vehicle this is like a the new one uh i will have to replace this is the way it's looking like it's not big so and um right now uh we'll have to remove the old one from here you have to remove this bracket which is like a 13 uh millimeters socket and you have to unscrew like uh, the uh terminal and from there you replace like a uh, the battery okay what you have to do and you have to remove uh, this bracket on top of the battery it's a 10 millimeter socket and also the terminal it's a 10 millimeter socket it's like a three of them they all like a 10 millimeter socket and after that you have to pull hard in the battery the battery has two clamps that hold it down there once you remove the bracket the only thing you have to do you have to pull in the battery very hard to remove it once you remove it you pull it down there and you're gonna pretty much install the new one okay after that you have to put your uh, connector back which is a 10 10 10 that's the only uh, thing you have to do uh, and then uh, remember to put like uh, your drain uh, prefer uh, those back and after that you have to uh, reinstall like uh, the panel I mean some people take like the whole thing out so you don't really need to do that and gotta make sure you clamp everything back together we install your t30 we install your t40 and you got this cover uh, we remove the cover you have to put the cover back in it right there that's it. Your AT30. You're gonna that's a T30 and that's a T40. Over here, tuck it properly. I have these two plastic clip. Put them back one here the ones over there put this cover back that's where you could see the battery you have to remove this cover that's 
zipping we installed uh, the the stream put it back it got only the right here it's dirty that's when you screw, screw and I think that's it right now you're good to go now you have to register the battery and then uh, you're good to go all right see you guys